What's up, YouTube? Back with another episode of Half Decent. We're making some uh, a Mexican shrimp cocktail today, and these are our ingredients. We got cucumber, cilantro, onions, tomatoes, lime juice, peppercorn, lemon, and of course, some shrimpy shrimps, some scrimps. Um, my wife told me not to say scrimps anymore, but I can't help myself. All right, so we're gonna start by prepping our veggies. Uh, it's pretty much just like a pico de gallo without a uh, jalapeno serrano pepper. So we're gonna, and adding cucumber which makes it very refreshing, especially right now that it's hot. I live in Vegas, it's about 108 degrees today, so this hit the spot. Uh, yeah, so nothing nothing too crazy, just dicing our veggies up. The tomatoes, I take that middle part out, just uh, demonstrating how I do it. Gets a little less soggy that way when you leave the seeds in there. Um, it's a little soggy, I guess. Um, and yeah, now I'm just dicing my onions up, showing you my little technique in case you don't know how to dice them up quick and easy. Cutting them like a grid like so, and then you just cut down the side like that. Look at that. How easy is that? I hope I, I mean, everyone knows how to do that, but in case you were the one person that didn't, there you go. You're welcome. Turn that bad boy up when there's not that much space left, and then just chop them up the old-fashioned way. Look at me. All right. Pretty self-explanatory. What else we got next? And, um... Oh yeah, here comes the cilantro. I bunch it up like that to make it a little easier to cut. And yeah, I'm just gonna dice this bad boy up. Mm -mm -mm. Man, this uh, dish was good. I'm narrating this after having tried a uh, mushroom cocktail. And let me tell you something, it was good. You're gonna enjoy it, I promise. We got my boy Vegeta in the shot. I'm gonna try and keep him in my videos at some point. Be like, where's Waldo? And this one, he's in the whole video, I think, but in the future, I'll have him in at least one shot each video, and you guys can point him out if you're looking for him, if you know who Vegeta is. All right, now we're doing my cucumber. Cut that bad boy down the middle. I'm gonna take the seeds out. You don't have to. I do, but I was bored, didn't have much to do. This whole dish is quick, too. So you can have this ready in a jiffy. My shrimps are frozen, and it was quick. Defrost them to make it even quicker, or you could buy the pre-made shrimp. Those will have, those will be good. I mean, I'm just showing you how to do it. If your shrimp are, if your uh, shrimp are raw, there we go. Everything's prepped up. I just added a little lime juice to there. Throwing some bay leaves, some peppercorn, and a lemon cut in half, and some boiling water. About to sh uh, throw my Argentinian shrimp that I bought. Two pounds of them in there. It's gonna cool the water down substantially. So it took a while. Oh, there's my cat. Fat cat. Um, gonna take a while to get these bad boys cooked. They were all cooked. Took about 10 minutes because they were frozen. Would've been a lot quicker if they weren't. Now I'm gonna remove them and put them into a little ice bath to stop them from getting chewy and rubbery. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna peel these bad boy. I'm gonna set bad boys. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna set aside like three of them with the tail on to garnish uh, my cup and make it look cute. All right, now I'm gonna add my veggies. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna add my ketchup. I know it sounds weird, but ketchup makes it kick. And that way you don't have to add salt. The ketchup has enough salt in there for you. Adding my veggies. And now I'm gonna mix it up. Make sure Vegeta gets that front row seat. Mix that bad boy up. Add my freshly cracked pepper. Mm, doesn't that look good? And a little, I don't know if I add salt. Yeah, I added a little bit of salt. The ketchup was enough. I just added just a little bit just to make sure it wasn't uh, lacking in salt and it had all that flavor. Now I'm gonna shake up my Clamato and put about half of it in there. And we're gonna save the other half to top our uh, cocktail off once it's served in a cool glass. You want a fancy looking glass. I mean, you don't need it, but if you're gonna post it on the gram and flex on people, you want a fancy looking glass. Look at this. So I got my Allagash white cup. It's a Got it at an old job of mine. Fill that bad boy up. Leave a little space to top it off with uh, my clamato. And then we're gonna put the final touches on it, the cherry on top, if you will. My avocado, el aguacate. Grab my spoon. Ah, put that right on top. Look at that. Mmm, tasty. No, no, this, this dish is fire. Look at that. Look at that presentation with my saltine crackers. Got my scrimps on the thigh. That's fabulous. All right, enjoy, guys. Go. 
All right, guys, you saw how easy it was to make a Mexican shrimp cocktail. Bang that out in about 25 minutes total. And uh, now we get to do the taste test. Get your saltine cracker, that's a must. Oops, drop that bad boy. Let's load it up with everything it's got. My little shrimpy shrimp. And then here we go. That's fire. Ooh, just as good as you get at any uh, Mexican restaurant that sells seafood. Anywhere you could go get some mariscos at, this is just as good, I promise you, and it tastes more than half decent.